1985-86 provincial champion. Coach Squirt Girls provincial champs 86 and 87. Silver medalist in the boys between 87 and 89. He coached the boys Pee Wee provincial team. 1990-94, midget boys went to provincials then nationals. In Conception Bay, <coughs> Newfoundland and St. Albert, Saskatchewan. 1995-97, he coached boys at the Canadian National Championship in Moncton, St. John's, and Saskatchewan. He was the president of the Highland Park from 1987 to 1990, and he helped develop the men's and women's slow pitch league. If anybody remembers the women's slow pitch league, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> he did a lot, a lot more than that. Could have, could have went, continued to scroll on that. A lot of guys like John, I know this guy, Steven, he knows me. the rest hey. of them, okay? He did a lot for this organization and it's our time to give back to him. So I want to invite Mike Rogers out here, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. president and eventually became president in 1988. He served as president again in 1989. He loved the ballpark and was cons consistently checking on Howie Helford. If anybody knows who Howie is, this gentleman was constantly checking on Howie, making sure Howie was doing everything right, which he was. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, he helped make the parades enjoyable because uh, I don't know if anybody remembers, we used to have parades that used to come up, up from the Osgoode Center all the way to Highland Park. Yeah. That's how we'd have our opening day. Somebody said, let's bring that back. That could be a possibility after what we're accomplishing here tonight, today, okay, and this weekend. Yeah. Uh, we worked tirelessly coaching and organizing events for the Ball League. We always made time for, for uh, Mike. Mike Meehan, if anybody remembers him, he was yep. one of our most uh, beloved and famous umpires. Yep. Uh, he could do any he would do anything he, he could for Highland Park, from teaching his own kids and everybody else to become better ball players. And that's one of the reasons why we're inducting today Don Snyder. Yeah. There's a reason that this tournament exists. 
It was uh, for to raise money, just like the slow pitch league for the kids of Highland Park. This tournament, this tournament could have died so many times over the years if some of the gentlemen that ran it didn't take it. But the guy that put the most work, the most effort into it, is this gentleman we're going to induct in a minute. He's, he's definitely one of the best sponsors, if not the best sponsor that Highland Park ever had. He sponsored so many teams and continues to be a great support system for anybody that is in Highland Park. Now he's got his grandkids playing in Highland Park. This being the 35th annual Fall Classic, there's nobody better fitting to induct in the Hall of Fame this year than Mike Berrigan. Yeah, Mikey!